Zong Wu. What kind of hero did you assign me to work? Introduction. At the beginning, the master died, leaving behind a little sister. What should I do if my enemy comes to my door? Don't panic. Era and there is a spirit mirror that can cross boundaries to recruit companions, no money, only white labor. Summoning flows, martial arts, all heavens, I want to write some characters from old martial arts dramas. Chapter 1 Soil You are listening at NovelFull.audio Son surname G, if you two siblings don't want to make a fool of yourself and make everyone know you're being kicked out of the house, just honestly let the mountain gate out and you'll still have a thousand tales of silver and flowers. Lousy's green snake gang saved face for Mr. Zui, waiting for him to be in his forties or nineties. If it drags on for half a month, no wonder I don't show mercy. By the way, if you could be honest and hand over your sex dietary supplement, hey, grandpa, I can assure woman that at least you will have no worries about food and clothing for the rest of your life. Wusong Mountain The sun is setting in the west, and the clouds are like red paint. The person who viciously laid down harsh words in front of the UN has sect and went away in the dust, named Lu Lei, with yellow teeth shining with golden light, and a thin face with wrinkles resembling a mouse. He was the local snake that managed the various religions in Wufang town. He built his own green snake gang and was quite capable of stirring up wind and rain in this acre of land. Today, he made a special trip to Yuan Ha sect in Wusong Mountain, but he planned to kill two birds with one stone. Not only did he want to engage in unprofitable business to deceive food supplement prescriptions, but he also wanted to occupy this mountain top, so that he could wash away his underwhelming gang and bring them ashore. Because the Yuan Ha sect on Wusong Mountain is an official sect located in the northern part of the Yuching Taiyi realm, and is one of the members of the Tonggong Martial Arts League. Its reputation is far more prominent than his background in the lower ninth class. Only by joining the Tonggong Martial League can one be considered to have a decent reputation within the Yuching Taiyi realm. The weather is unpredictable. Since the unfortunate death of the head of the Yuan Ha sect, Iya, there have been only Jiyuan He and his junior sister Yayakshuan left in the entire Yuan Ha sect. The other idol disciples, seeing that the situation was not right, could not resist Lu Lei's coercion and temptation, and had already withdrawn from the Yuan Ha sect. However, in the face of Lu Lei's repeated door dot to dot door provocations, neither Ji Yuan nor Yi Yushuan gave up their intention to compromise. They really wanted to lose their membership in the Martial Arts Alliance of Yuan Hazong. It was only after the two of them that they were truly at the mercy of others, and it is uncertain when they would die that no one would pay attention. Although it's not much better now, at least Yi Yi had some popularity in the Tonggong Martial League before his death, so it's not advisable to be too extreme. But for someone like Lu Lei, who is in the lower class, he doesn't care much about the means. Not taking immediate action was nothing more than a concern for Ai's reputation and network during his lifetime. And Era and Hart are very clear that relying solely on the care of others cannot be relied on for too long. True Soil Ji Yuanha, looking at the figure of Lu Lei who was going down the mountain, unconsciously roast. In a while, Lu Lei will not be ashamed to teach the two younger generations a lesson and then force them to buy and sell. However, the era is even more concerned that they may not only want real estate, but also not spare their lives. Compared to Lu Lei's domineering coercion, Ji Yuanha was also thinking of another thing in his heart. The cause of death of the former patriarch Yi Yi. What kind of soil? A crisp female voice reached her ear, an epoch and turned around and shrugged, I said this kind of being forcibly robbed of furniture is really tacky. Earth returns to earth, but my grandfather once said that in the martial arts world, it's not uncommon to say, big fists make big decisions. Senior brother, Lu Lei has reached the ninth grade master year after year. We are still in the internal training stage of physical training, so we may not be his opponent. The old man was still an eighth grade expert before his death. Don't be afraid. The address of Yuan Ha sect can be moved, but the official membership status within the Martial Arts League cannot be compromised. 
Practicing the body does not enter the grade, and cultivating the qi starts with the ninth grade. As a modern person who has traveled through time, era and the shame of not being forced to strategically shift in, turn around to comfort and understand their junior sister who has gained a circle of fat on her face in addition to pretending to be ugly. Although Yuan Ha sect is only a dilapidated sect and has been recognized by the central Chongxian sect of the Yuqing Taiyi realm, it does not contain any trace of moisture. The entire Taiyi Jade Clear realm is not particularly large, and there is no so dot called imperial government, almost pure sects and rivers. The location of Emperor Yuan Ha is within the influence of the Tonggong woman in the north. In the Tonggong Martial League, only recognized sects are eligible to pass the certification of the central Chongxian Palace in the Taiyi realm. According to the understanding of era and, it generally means obtaining a establishment or license. If anything unexpected happens to the Yuan Ha sect, the Tonggong Martial League must thoroughly investigate and hold the culprit accountable, and even the Chongxian Palace must send people to supervise. In terms of status, there is a considerable gap compared to ordinary small communities, copycats, martial arts schools, and so on in the market and mountains, starting today and ending tomorrow. Therefore, the weight of official sex within the Tonggong Martial League is not light, and the number has also been strictly limited. If Lu Lei's Green Snake Gang wants to rise to power, they have to take down an old sect position. And the Wusong Mountain, where Yuan Ha sect is located, happens to be close to Wufang Town, where the Green Snake Gang is located. In addition, Yayakshuan's grandfather, the former head of the Yuan Ha sect, Iya, died unexpectedly, which attracted greedy wolves. For Geng Ha, whether for self.protection or future development, it is very necessary to preserve the sect of Geng Ha sect. However, the ninth grade martial artist has already developed internal qi, and even flying kites can exhaust us to death. The girl who spoke with her hair tied was none other than Yayakshuan, the junior sister of Juan. Previously, she dared not show her true face in front of Lu Lei. Now, she lowered her head and spat out an oval fruit with mottled patterns from her mouth. She had just removed the swollen birthmark on half of her cheek, giving birth to a flower-like jade that was indescribable. A black-blue skirt embroidered with bamboo patterns, half-white sleeves revealing fragrant shoulders, exceptionally smooth and delicate. The black and green threads hang down, with small braids on each side hanging down from the shoulders, appearing soft and beautiful. Just the girl's eyebrows and eyes have not yet opened, showing a youthful and tender appearance. And for the past month, due to the death of Yi Yi, he seemed a bit haggard, but he always had unconditional trust in the era and asked with a hint of doubt in his voice, is there a way for senior brother to be so calm? Epic and nodded, yes, do you remember, the hundred variations of divine behavior. Yi Yushuan was momentarily taken aback, then recalled a grave on the hillside behind Wusong Mountain. That one way Xiao Bao taught senior brother. Epic and pretended to be profound, nodding in response. Yes, it's the martial arts of the Gulen Guigong. What is Guigong? Yi Yushuan is not unfamiliar with worldly affairs, but she has never been outside the range of Wusong Mountain and cannot understand such a profound vocabulary. She asked in confusion, is he a turtle demonized form in the water of Tianshou Lake? You just make him a local thug. Upon hearing the three words, Tianshou Lake, again, he felt that it was somewhat consistent with a martial arts work he had seen in his previous life. Epic and couldn't help but be stunned, and then he said in detail, it shouldn't be something that your girls know. Oh, oh. Although she doesn't often go down the mountain on weekdays, Yayakshuan has always heard her grandfather complain before her death that in the village below the mountain, she would only wander around aimlessly without any worries. People hate and dislike Iron Bull, and it is said that she is a local ruffian. Just as Yi Yushuan suddenly realized it, she couldn't figure it out anymore. She wrinkled her nose and said, so why did my senior brother mention the Divine Wanderers? In order to deal with Lu Lei's complete extermination, Ji Yuanha had to find some ways. I have come a long way, and you need to learn how to run. How did you do with practicing, the Divine Journey of Changes? 
There is already Xiao Cheng. Yi Yuxuan's eyebrows and eyes lit up and she asked, the body technique of the divine journey of changes is really mysterious. Can senior brother bring back similar good things this time when he's on a long journey? Shouldn't it be? Xinxing Baibian is a superior likeness skill from the world of Jin Yong's martial arts. For the two individuals who are still in the stage of physical training, this body method is enough to surpass martial artists of the same level, but it is unknown how much difference there is compared to ninth grade martial artists. However, if the era and every time they go out, they can bring back something similar. It is uncertain that half a month later when facing Lu Lei from the Green Snake Gang, they may not be able to protect Yuan and Zong. As Yi Yuxuan couldn't help but feel inspired, Ji Yuan has thoughts drifted towards the encounter with Wei Xiaobao. A month ago, the era and instinct of seeing the body of Yi Yi had the idea of seeking revenge for the old man. At that moment, a mirror light suddenly lit up in his brain, teleporting him to a secret realm relic. And besides him, the other person is Wei Xiaobao. The era and the copy of The Hundred Changes of God in his hand were obtained by Wei Xiaobao after his death. Except for The Hundred Variations of the Divine Journey. Epic and touched his waist, feeling incredibly secure in his heart. Even if there aren't many bullets, the American style Juha is still impressive. Chapter 2 No Moment Spirit Mirror. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Although Wei Ju Ye's Qing Sui Hair Spear is not very useful, it should not be a big problem to kill one or two unguarded warriors. With such an extra treasure, for today's era, there is at least a life. Saving trump card. If we really want to burn both jade and stone, we can always take one or two opponents away. And the plan of era he is also very simple, to scare and intimidate the opposite party, just let the guy who bullies the door use a deterrent after all, money is earned for the boss. How many tales of silver do Lu Lei's followers spend a month? What's the point of playing with Ji Yuan and others? Compared to this, Era and now hope that he will repeat the adventure of encountering Wei Xiaobao once again. In addition, with the miraculous body movements of The Divine Journey of Changes, taking another risk in the Era and self-questioning can provide some basic guarantees. Although she was not quite sure about the Era and where she got the God's Journey, Yi Yuxuan tacitly didn't ask much, but after a boring meal, she made two more pancakes for the Era and said, Take them with you, remember to eat them when you're tired. Okay. I'll talk to you about something when I come back from this trip. Yi Yuxuan regained her composure and forced a smile, saying, I know. Let me tell my senior brother a little secret. These two pancake fruits can help relieve fatigue and restore some vitality after eating them. I call them the spring fruit. Hey. Junior sister, have you mastered your skills? That's not it. Although Emperor Yuan He did not possess top-notch knowledge, during the stage of external cultivation, his family passed down the method of nourishing food in the meal and mist manual, which was quite knowledgeable and had mysteries unknown to outsiders. However, over the years, Ji Yuan He did not know that Yi Yuxuan still had such a skill. Of course, it doesn't matter. In the future, if the era always disappears suddenly, it will inevitably make Yi Yuxuan worry. Both of them have to show their cards to each other before they can work together in the same boat. Besides the little secret on Yi Yuxuan's body, the era and the mirror in his brain are also his own secrets. Ding Ling. Is it time? Wu Jiu, is this still the same place as last time? Yes, why didn't I ask you back after last time? The accumulation of spiritual energy in heaven and earth is insufficient, and the non-rectangular spiritual mirror cannot operate. In my wild thoughts, the era and the boundless spirit mirror in my mind seem to emit a crisp sound. Glancing at Yi Yuxuan, it was confirmed that she had not noticed anything, and Epic couldn't help but fall into contemplation. According to the game data template in my subconscious mind, organize the usage of no moment spirit mirror, that I can understand. As with most travelers, there is also a cheat in the brain of era and. When the Wuju spirit mirror first came into effect, 
Juan met Wei Xiaobao and took them to a deserted Taoist secret realm. After that experience was over, the spirit mirror fell into a state of silence, without even clarifying the thoughts of the era and time, as well as the purpose of the non-rectangular spirit mirror. However, due to lack of experience for the first time, the cooperation with Wei Xiaobao was not pleasant, and the two parted ways unhappily. Or it can be said that Lord Wei believed too much in his own cleverness, but encountered martial arts routines in a different world that exceeded his understanding. Unfortunately, he died before winning the battle. Obviously, just having a little intelligence and encountering a robber may not necessarily save one's life, and forcing a woman alone cannot make a man fall for it. However, Epic and Wei Xiaobao have no friendship, and if the other party dies, they will die. Epic and only allowed the other party to settle down and accidentally touched a corpse. And, the hundred variations of divine behavior, and this flint gun were exactly the feedback that Wei Xiaobao gave him. At the same time as the idea emerged in the era and mind, the unrestrained spirit mirror, which could cross boundaries and attract people, immediately gave him a direct response. Usage of the unrestrained spirit mirror. Easy for the owner to understand, change description. Recruitment system for heroes from all realms, the spirit mirror without moments cannot speak, but the answer comes directly from the era and the depths of the heart. Epic was taken aback for a moment and asked inwardly, playing with others. How to use it? Why can we bring people from other worlds? As soon as he thought about it, the Wuju spirit mirror presented a series of detailed texts on the surface of the precious mirror in his mind, in the way he often read novels. According to the progress of the master's cultivation, accumulate the spiritual energy of heaven and earth to activate the spiritual mirror. The principle of recruiting people from other realms is complex and cannot be understood by the master at this time, the Wuju spirit mirror will automatically search for events, relics, and competitions that match the owner. To ensure a certain level of security, match and recruit candidates who meet the standards based on the owner's cultivation and the current spiritual energy level of the spirit mirror's heaven and earth. The current owner's requirement is for a death clue from E.E. Cross-border recruitment can prevent the leakage of the owner's identity, the spirit mirror is not a system in the owner's consciousness and does not alter the subconscious of the matching object, so there is a corresponding risk. There are inherent risks in actual combat, and convincing recruiters to accept them is also a part of training, other functions of the spirit mirror should be explored by the owner. You're not a system. But you really gave me a whole explanation that I can understand. Emotion also comes with a matching mechanism, and the era and eyebrows tighten. So last time you sensed that I wanted to avenge my grandfather, so you transported me to that barren ruins. The Wuju spirit mirror is the owner's possession. Unless the owner's body and soul are destroyed, the Wuju spirit mirror can only be used by the owner alone and cannot be deprived. All the starting points of the Wuju spirit mirror are based on the owner's requirements as the first consideration the last Dao my ruins contained clues to Yi Ye's death, I see. So, when faced with danger, can you use cross-border recruitment methods to escape with me and save your life? The master's ability is insufficient to activate the non-rectangular spirit mirror divine power. The era is not strange. He is still in the stage of physical training. Although he has finished external exercises on bones, muscles, and fascia, he is still one step away from internal exercises on organs, blood, and marrow. In short, we have not yet started on the path of martial arts. The Wuju spirit mirror is clearly not an ordinary treasure, and it is obviously not something that he can easily manipulate now. However, although the cultivation techniques of Yuan Ha sect are not good at direct combat, the method of nourishing food can be considered unique. As far as the era and recent observations are concerned, at least within the scope of the Tonggong Martial League, the external training stage of other families' basic martial arts training begins at the age of 13 or 14 after physical development, and within one or two years, they vigorously train and become powerful. Even a woman's figure is inevitably somewhat out of shape at first, but it will only improve during the internal training stage and gradually return to symmetry. 
Only after becoming a true warrior can coordination be fully restored. On the other hand, Ji Yuanhe and Yi Yuxuan were highly respected by Yi Yi since childhood. They followed the recipe in Yuan Hezong's Banksia Pu and combined it with the basic Jin Yu Yi breathing technique to complete their external training early on. And there is no trace on the surface, the figure is perfect and flawless. Even in the internal training stage, Ji Yuan and Yayakshuan have completed the internal organ training, and Yu Yu reading www.yukangshu.net only has one final step left to train the blood and marrow. After all, dietary supplements are always from the inside out, regulating the organs is natural, and can be taken care of slowly from a young age. They can be said to have all the advantages compared to others. Imagine that since weaning, Jiyuan and Yayakshuan have been able to rely on dietary supplements to regulate their bodies. Even if the body is not suitable for rushing in childhood, with 10 more years of starting time, they can still be considered as the group that wins at the starting line. Of course, these are of no help in solving the current situation, and Lu Lei from the Green Snake Gang can be considered a good hand among the ninth grade. It's just that Lu Lei is getting old and hasn't broken through the capital of an eighth grade warrior, but the threat he poses to Ji Yuan and Yi Yuxuan is real and cannot be underestimated. Ji Yuanhe doesn't want Yi Yuxuan to suffer and even be bullied. Who knows what unbearable thoughts there will be in a dirty place like the Green Snake Gang with thoughts swirling in his mind, he didn't dwell too much on these things. Instead, he looked at Yi Yuxuan and said, Xuan Yang, go to bed early. I won't be back in a long time. Hmm. Anyway, Yi Yuxuan didn't want to let Ji Yuan and worry about Yuan and Zong's safety, so as not to be distracted when traveling far away. She immediately nodded decisively. Immediately after, Yi Yuxuan saw the figure of Ji Yuanhe, flapping edges, into thousands of broken mirrors and flowing light, and her fingers disappeared. At the same time, three people appeared out of thin air on a deep and quiet mountain road, surrounded by wild smoke and vines. One was the prepared era, while the other two saw a refined and Confucian-looking middle-aged man with a sword. He suppressed the momentary fear of arriving in the unfamiliar land, with a slightly unnatural sharpness in his voice, and bowed to Era and another person. Huashan is not a group, I have met two young friends. Chapter 3 Malevolent Men and Fierce Women You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. You Buchuan Old acquaintances from TV dramas and novels. I have seen Wei Xiaobao's experience, and I have become accustomed to it. I have no doubts about the other person's identity. It has to be said that Yu Buchuan's gentlemanly demeanor as a literati and refined guest in front of others is easily mistaken by Xiao Bai when revealing his true face. If Ji Yuanhe had not known his true nature earlier, he might have been deceived by Yu Buchuan in the first place. Yu Buchuan, known as the Gentleman Sword, is the leader of the Huashan sect in Laughing Proud Jianghu. In a sense, he can be called the largest and most profitable conspirator in the works. He is a man who can dominate the martial arts world in order to revitalize Huashan and ruthlessly cut off his pine nut treasure, practicing the Demon Repeating Sword Manual. And upon hearing Yu Buchuan's suppressed voice, which was somewhat sharp, Ji Yuanhe immediately sounded an alarm in his heart thinking that he should never underestimate the Master Yu who had practiced exorcism swordsmanship. Unlike the previous time when only Wei Xiaobao was recruited, there were actually two people recruited this time. The other one is a beautiful and fairy-like woman dressed in a blue robe. Just this woman looks elegant and refined, but repeatedly gives people a sense of majesty and solemnity of bitterness and deep hatred, with a faint cold light rolling under the long sleeve of her right hand. Huashan. The woman in the green dress was alert in her heart, but her mouth showed a cold and proud aura, saying, after Xian Yu Tong's death, it turns out that you succeeded as the leader. Xian Yu Tong. The era of Xian Yu Tong's life was during the period of Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber, and before, laughing in the proud Jianghu, he was also a leader of the Huashan sect. When the six major sects besieged Guangmingding, he was a hypocrite whose face had been exposed as poisonous. 
at this moment, being called a monk by Zhou Jiruo. Yu Buqiuan's mood is subtle. The hypocritical inheritance of the leader of the Huashan sect can also be considered as a lineage. Yu Buqiuan remained calm on his face, but felt a hint of anger towards Zhou Jiruo's rudeness in his heart. He restrained his sharp voice and coughed in a solemn and majestic voice, lamenting, the faults of our ancestors cannot be shared by future generations. Only by walking on thin ice, fulfilling his duties, and protecting the right path of Huashan, can use humble talent not fall into the name of our predecessors. Ancestors Xian Yutong was not older than His Excellency at the time of his death. The woman in the green shirt's words were somewhat impolite, but they both stunned her and Yu Buqiuan, realizing the subtle mystery. Epic and his eyes rolled, and he almost guessed the identity of the woman. He spoke up and said, It turns out that it was Zhou, the leader of the Ame sect, in front of me. I've heard so much about her. Hmm. Zhou. To be honest, if it weren't for Yu Buqiuan's extensive reading of poetry and understanding of the anecdotes of various sects in the martial arts world, one would probably not have thought who that woman was for a moment. But what exactly is the situation with Amei? Just like the appearance of the Huashan sect in Laughing Proud Jianghu, Yu Buqiuan generally knows very little. Fortunately, the woman in the green shirt raised her eyebrows and admitted her identity on the spot. She responded coldly and arrogantly, It's Zhou Jirua from Amei, do you know me? Don't watch TV dramas where this woman has been whitewashed a lot. In fact, if Zhou Ji looks like a small white flower, she is actually black-hearted cotton. Era and began to talk nonsense. I, Wei Xiaobao, am from the Qing dynasty. Well, I have visited Shaolin to study many ancient books, which recorded that Zhou was a female hero of Amei in the late Yuan and early Ming dynasties. As for you, he must be a leader of the Huashan sect during the Ming dynasty. If I guess correctly, we are not from the same historical period, so there is no need for Xian Yutong to have any misunderstandings or misunderstandings. The Yuan and Ming dynasties. It is quite difficult for two ancient people to easily accept this concept. Rao Yu Buqiuan was cunning and cunning, and Zhou Ji, if he had turned black and pondered carefully, was now down in place, unable to easily clarify the beginning and end for a while. Although Zhou Jirua's pursuit of the little slut, Zhao Min was hurt by Zhang Wuji's escape from marriage, and her personality changed greatly, Zhou Jirua's personality became cold, arrogant, and gloomy, but she still didn't care about hiding her true emotions. Yu Buqiuan squinted his eyes and saw that Zhou Jirua was shocked and his expression did not seem to be fake. His thoughts couldn't help but believe him for a moment, and he began to further inquire and verify. Young brother, dare you ask how the future Huashan is? According to historical records, Master Yu was the renowned gentleman sword of the Five Sacred Swords sect at that time. However, due to the events of his predecessors, there are few detailed records, and younger generations are also not familiar with them. Epoch and face with shame seem very regretful. And just like Yu Buqiuan, who was known for his reputation in Mount Hua, his face remained calm upon hearing this, but he couldn't help feeling gloomy and pleased. It seems that in the future, my reputation in Mount Hua has improved even more, and even the reputation of the gentleman sword has been passed down to future generations. Yu Buqiuan exclaimed, so in the Qing dynasty. What about our Huashan sect? Some experts claim that the divine fist is invincible to Gui Xinxu. They have no resistance in the imperial court and palace, and come and go freely. They are truly remarkable. Their master, the divine sword immortal ape Mu Renqin, is also an invincible senior in the world. Okay. If you don't like Fu Yu, you have to cater to his preferences. The future development of Huashan is so strong that Yu Buqiuan should have made some contribution to sacrificing his own limbs and practicing exorcism swordsmanship, right? No matter how much Yu Buqiuan endured, he couldn't help but feel relieved at this moment. As he went on and on, Yu Buqiuan's perception of the era suddenly increased by one or two points. At least in this unfamiliar situation, 
it's not easy to sneak up on them before understanding their roots. Zhou Jirua asked, Young Xiaowei, after the Yuan dynasty, will it be our Han people's world? Not bad. Even in the Ming dynasty, Amei is also a branch of the righteous path. Although the Qing dynasty was no longer the same, the Ming dynasty was indeed. Without the need for an era or agreement, Yu Buqiuan, who had already believed two points, nodded with Yu Rongyan. Epic and seeing this scene, they would not hesitate to mention the aftermath of the Qing dynasty, just like nodding slightly to Zhou Jiruo. Besides Zhang Wuji's personal affair, Zhou Jiruo's all he had in mind was to follow the instructions of the extermination abbess and shine anime. If he could also overthrow the oppression of Da Yuan, it was also his intention. At this moment, with the nod of recognition from the era and the two, the string that had been tense in Zhou Jiruo's mind for a long time couldn't help but loosen a little. However, it was estimated that there would be no benefit from Lao Yu's collection. Ji Yuan and Su Xing approached Zhou Jiruo's side and praised him for being deceitful and deceiving, and started talking nonsense. As far as I know, the Zhou sect leader is recorded as a legendary woman. Later, they passed down the sect leader's ring and left, as if they had become a divine couple with a man. Oh. No matter how much she complained and resented Zhang Wuji, as soon as Zhou Jirua heard the words of Ji Yuan He, her cold and beautiful face in a blue shirt suddenly burst into joy, and her delicate face became a bit more rosy. Era and these words undoubtedly touched her heart, and she immediately showed a little more kindness towards him. Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net however, having a slight understanding of each other's identities does not solve the substantive problem. Quickly, the three of them fell silent, each having doubts about their sudden appearance in this wilderness. As an old martial artist, although Yubuchuan used to enjoy being clumsy on weekdays, he had become a bit unruly after practicing the demon repeating sword technique. But now he was the first to try to take the initiative and say, Everyone, have you ever said anything more in your mind after coming here? Words Zhou Jirua was taken aback by the words, and a string of words suddenly appeared in his mind. He immediately blurted out, Are we currently in a Taoist immortal land? Really? Yu Buchuan's eyes lit up and he pondered, but there is a cave inside, and there is Taoist mystical art hidden in the cave. The same goes for Master Yu and Young Xiaowei. Not bad at this point, Era and definitely need to make a final statement in order to understand the reason why the Wuju spirit mirror moved the two of them. For Yu Buchuan, the divine skill that can take Hua Shan to the next level and replace left cold Zen is undoubtedly quite attractive. No one would despise being stronger, would they? Moreover, the Wuju spirit mirror can be imperceptible to the gods and ghosts, restraining the three from different dynasties, which is not something that ordinary people can do no matter what they think. The Taoist theory of fairyland is still very convincing. And what if we can complete the third leg? No one wants to be a eunuch. Even if Yubuchuan remained half believing and half skeptical, the theory of gods and ghosts eventually planted seeds in his heart. As long as he believed these things, Yubuchuan greedily pressed his sword with one hand and involuntarily hid the other hand in his sleeve, secretly gripping a few embroidery needles, but his expression remained gentle and pleasant. Two of you, there are people on the mountain. Chapter 4 Differences in Martial Arts You are listening at NovelFull.audio Yubuchuan habitually pinched the embroidery needle, not wanting to immediately kill Zhou Jirua and Ji Yuanha, just like he did to kill the nuns of the designated generation in Hengshan. At present, we are not familiar with the place of life. Finding the so dot called Taoist murals together is the most serious thing, and dividing pork should be done later. Among the three, Zhou Jirua's internal strength and quality are the highest, while Yubuchuan's skill and fire are the most profound. After discovering someone on the barren mountain here, Yubuchuan stood with a stern expression and said, although you doesn't want to be sneaky, he can only capture one person first and inquire about the details of this place. Urgent matters require power, and there is a need for Mr. Yu, the leader. Ji Yuanha is not familiar with Yubuchuan, 
so he will definitely not be a pawn in front of him. Besides, do you really consider yourself a hero? The working boy is not even aware of it. On the mountain path, two rows and two rows of four people walked towards each other. Every two people wear a uniform, with eagle patterns on their arms and tongue leaf shoulder badges. It seems that they are not in the same group, but more like they are monitoring each other. Era and at first glance, um, the real way Xiao Bao used to be killed by their accomplices. The two people in front raised torches and shone a circle of orange yellow under their feet. Yu Buchuan fixed his eyes and noticed that these four people had no internal skill cultivation, except for their exceptionally strong muscles, which he couldn't help but underestimate by three points. No wonder Yu Buchuan. As is well known, in traditional martial arts, practicing Kung Fu horizontally has always been at the bottom of the martial arts disdain chain, either a barbarian or a dead end. Even the Vajra immortal skill of Shaolin Temple requires the cultivation of rich true qi and internal power. Without the cultivation of internal qi, it is difficult to impress people. So, without intending to expose the evil warding sword technique, Yubuchuan put away the embroidery needle and used the Huashan sword technique with one hand, showing off his excellent appearance. The long sword unsheathed is a move called Phoenix Comes with Ceremony. Yubuchuan snatched it up and pointed it directly at the throat of the first person, with the intention of rescuing the enemy. At the same time, he quickly released his sword scabbard and swept towards another person. Electric light and flint, take your life from the sword. As expected by Yubuchuan, these four individuals do not have as deep internal power cultivation as Yubuchuan. The person in charge was caught off guard and was killed on the spot by Yubuchuan's sword piercing through his throat. The other one who was swept across by the detached sword scabbard instinctively crossed their arms and was also swept back a few steps with a thud. Who dares to sneak attack? One face to face, one death and one injury causing the remaining three people to be both shocked and angry. Seeing his companion injured, a warrior with a flying eagle pattern on his chest immediately turned over and climbed up. In the eyes of Yubuchuan, this person's agility is not inferior to the skilled lightness skills in Laughing Proud Jianghu. Without internal strength, still so agile, it's really strange and strange the newcomer's claws are like eagles, locking towards the sword body of Yubuchuan. Yubuchuan made a slight calculation and was eager to explore. With a biased sword edge, he switched to cutting the eagle claw palm with the edge of his sword. Unexpectedly, this person's strength was far beyond ordinary, and his skin and flesh were even more solid. Ten fingers pressed down on the sword body, making it difficult for Yubuchuan to advance for a moment. At the same time, the remaining two people's agility was not inferior to that of this person, and they immediately surrounded and attacked. With his full internal strength, Yubuchuan withdrew his hand and used another sword to scare away the enemy's advance. He suddenly launched a reverse thrust, intending to take it by surprise. However, the person who attacked from behind had even greater strength than the one who used the eagle's claws before him. With a single palm strike, even the green blade in his hand curved. The previously injured eagle pattern chest tattoo person rushed forward regardless of life or death, causing Yubuchuan to return without success. What a strong and powerful way. The first person's killing was simple, and Yubuchuan was taken aback. Unexpectedly, the remaining three of them had such great strength. After looking for a while, Zhou Jirua said coldly and indifferently to Ji Yuanha, Be careful, young Xia Wei. These three people have extraordinary talents and all have extraordinary abilities. Their muscles and bones are truly remarkable, and they are not ordinary horizontal exercises. I see. Observing Yubuchuan and the four of them fighting several times, it can be seen that the era is similar. Those four patrolling guys are skilled at completing external training, but have not yet started internal training, which is much worse than era and himself. And the difference between Jin Yong's martial arts and the Yuching Tai realm can be traced back to the era and observed for a moment. Even though Yubuchuan did not use the evil warding sword technique at all, 
he only used the strong internal power of Zixia divine skill to confront the enemy. One on one, none of these four people can compete with Yu Buqiuan. But if encountering a group fight, the four of them who have successfully practiced outside the body can rely on their strong physique, making Yu Buqiuan unable to adapt for a while and somewhat exhausted in dealing with it. Yu Buqiuan is not very good at group warfare, otherwise in Laughing and Proud Jianghu, he wouldn't have been captured by a group of underworld strongmen under left cold zen, and almost the whole story would have been a eunuch. And his opponents at this moment are all incredibly strong, which is a bit off course for Yu Buqiuan. In simple terms, although these four people do not have internal strength, they have achieved success in practicing outside the body and have become body instincts. Each punch in foot is better than carrying hundreds of pounds of strength. On the contrary, there is a clear barrier between external and internal skills in the gene style martial arts, and of course, it is not impossible to have both. For example, the 18 Dragon Subduing Palms is an external martial arts skill, but it also has extremely high requirements for internal strength. It is incredibly powerful and can be considered as the top external martial arts skill from the inside out. And Yu Buqiuan, who has achieved success in practicing the Purple Cloud Divine skill, relies heavily on profound internal skills. If there is no internal skill defense, even ordinary people without internal power can harm unsuspecting experts, which is precisely the weakness of gold martial artists. On the contrary, during the initial stage of physical training in the Yuching Taiyi realm, one began to practice muscles, muscles, and periosteum externally. Simply put, it means making oneself rough and tough, resistant to beating and beating, with a strength of hundreds or even thousands of pounds, which is not surprising. The era and the Yuan and zone where it is located still have their own magical methods, but they are still within this framework of the constitution. As long as the stage of extracorporeal training ends, the entire body will become extremely strong. Even if there is no internal power to protect the body, such a thing as accidentally cutting a hand with an ordinary small knife would definitely not happen. But when injured by ordinary people, it is difficult to be seriously injured by a single blow. Muscles, muscles, and bones instinctively contract. Yu Yu can quickly stop the loss before it occurs by reading www.yuyukangshu.net. As for the era and myself in the era and memory, many novels have a stage of practice. But there is a slight difference in the Yuching Taiyi realm. The essence of the so dot called external training stage is actually to nourish qi with a strong physique. Since the birth of the Taiyi people, there has been a mouthful of innate vitality that gradually falls into the acquired turbidity. If we talk about the method of external practice, it is to strengthen the body, so as to make the vitality strong and strengthen the internal energy. Practicing physical fitness outside does not require further elaboration. The initial practice of internal training is to first practice the organs. If the organs are not strong and the hematopoietic function of the bone marrow cannot keep up, how can we withstand the increasingly strong vitality? Excessive internal energy is just adding burden to people. There are so many characters in the era who have seen their own internal power explode, just like a Christian carp crossing the river. And when practicing the essence of the era, it nourishes a thin innate vitality, which is gradually cultivated in the way of the future. Of course, although ordinary external training methods can maintain this innate vitality, they inevitably mix with the acquired one. And both are growing together, with a mixture of innate and acquired factors, making it difficult to avoid future troubles. However, those are all future events, let's not mention them at this moment. At this moment, Ji Yuanhe suddenly realized the biggest difference between him and Yu Buqiuan and Zhou Jiruo. It is when the body's vitality is extremely strong, but it cannot be transformed into internal energy or internal energy for practical combat. But in terms of strength, era and are not afraid of the two of them. Watching Yu Buqiuan gradually gain a stable advantage, Ji Yuanhe suddenly felt fortunate in his heart. Thanks to his practice of divine journey in hundred changes, he had some internal skill foundation. Otherwise, like these four people, if they don't show their inner strength and cultivation, it may immediately attract Yubuchuan's suspicion. 
Miss Zhou, it's not appropriate to make a big fuss. Let's help Master Yu capture the person first, right? Chapter 5 This temporary worker is very conscious. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. It should be like this. As long as it's not because of the overwhelming power of profit, one can tell that the martial arts practices of these four patrollers are vastly different from those of Zhou Jirua himself. At least at this moment, Yu Buchuan and Juwan can be called their own people. At the thought of this, Zhou Jirua rolled up her long sleeves. A long whip hung down, with a silver scale and a cold light shining on its tip. With a schwa sound, it was like a white python. Its internal strength straightened it, and it spiraled and swung out seven or eight zhang away, knocking down the injured chest tattooed eagle whip to the ground. At the same time, era and foot were as fast as ghosts and ghosts, and their divine movements were constantly changing. Suddenly, they came to the back of the extraordinary person with extraordinary strength and aimed at his vest, hitting him with a punch. When the external trainer met the internal trainer, the person who had just been surrounding Yubuchuan immediately exclaimed that he would be punished. Turning around in an instant, he only had time to raise his hand to protect his face, but was hit by Jiyuan in a punch in the nostrils, opening a dojo on his face, causing him to feel dizzy and disoriented. Three on three, or relying on the strong to bully the weak, let alone facing another injured person who was whipped down. Zhou Jirua strangled the person lying on the ground with a silver whip around their neck. Era and the same easily repaired the knife, but his face turned blue, obviously not suitable for killing for the first time. However, showing this kind of expression in front of Yubuchuan was also intentional by Ji Yuan Ha Yubuchuan suddenly ignited, it turned out that this kid is a chick. Adapted to the eerie attack, Yubuchuan's move, Green Mountain Hidden, was unpredictable and unpredictable, and he killed the last person who couldn't guess Yubuchuan's swordsmanship. As he was distracted and looking around, he first underestimated the martial arts experience of Ji Yuanha in his heart, and then looked up at Ji Yuanha again. Wei Xiaobao's lightness skills may be inferior to those of Tian Buguang, who travels alone for thousands of miles, right? On the contrary, why did the woman's strange and unpredictable whip technique reveal a sense of grandeur and righteousness amidst the mysteries? Amei has been established for a long time and has always been a prestigious sect. Even the increasingly prosperous Five Sacred Sword sect is not as good as it is, and there are some sects in the end. If it weren't for the decline of Mount Hua. Yu Buchuan praised, you two are so handsome. I dare not show off in front of Yu Zhang's storefront. Epic and humility smiled without taking any credit. I only have one lightness skill that makes sense, and you both laughed. Young Xia Wei, I am too humble. Yu Buchuan picked up the scabbard and stood up with a straight face, saying, to get to the point, these four of them have extraordinary strength. I believe you two have already experienced it. The Taoist immortal land may not be an empty word. There was not much joy in Zhou Ruaji's bright eyes, but a hint of sadness flashed. Even a few minions are so difficult to deal with. There may be high dot level guards guarding the ruins and murals. We want to go home, maybe we have no choice. Unless the recruiter dies, it is necessary to assist the master in achieving the goal. Once the recruiter dies, the master will return to the Yuanha sect and wait for the next spiritual mirror to have sufficient spiritual power before recruiting Era and Heart skip a beat. He doesn't want to brush a dungeon three times, and Lu Lei from the Green Snake Gang won't give him time. The answer given by Wu Ju Ling Jing to Ji Yuanha made him speak confidently. Two of you, I still have relatives in my family and I don't want to stay here alone. Not bad Zhou Jirua was thinking about revenge against Zhang Wuji. Yu Buchuan, on the other hand, was concerned about the important matter of the alliance between Hua Shan and the Five Sacred Swords sect to establish the leader of the alliance. He definitely did not want to stay in a foreign land, and both agreed to the theory of era harmony. Besides, the Taoist immortal realm is so dangerous, and even the little soldiers are so powerful. How can there be any family scenery? 
Although Zhang Wuji has a bit of a romantic mind, Zhou Jirua is essentially a career-oriented party. Upon thinking about this, in order to prevent people from having weak single abilities, Zhou Jirua found an extra helper. Seeing that the era and lightness skills were not bad, but the internal strength was shallow, not as long as Yu Buqiuan's internal energy. After a moment of contemplation, Zhou Jirua said, Young Xia Wei, I. Amei has a movement and stillness skill that is quite effective in improving martial arts. The other palm techniques must be based on this and practiced for a hundred days. It is useless for me to teach at the moment. Would you like to try this mental technique? Knowing that Zhou Jirua thought his dishes were easy to handle and could show goodwill, Ji Yuan has eyes lit up and he said, Is this making it difficult for Master Zhou? It's okay, it's just a matter of convenience. At this moment, let's move forward with all our might. That would be disrespectful. The era and the joyful expression on her face made Zhou Jirua feel much at ease. It is probably that Zhou Jirua has cultivated the unique general principles into the Nine Yin Manual. Although Zhou Jirua has only quickly developed the Nine Yin Divine Claw, he still has some experience in the combination of hardness and softness into the Nine Yin Manual. She keenly felt that Yubuchuan had a sense of disharmony. He didn't have the masculine temperament that a big man should have, but rather had a hint of affectation. The particularly rare examples made Zhou Jirua have a certain level of resentment towards Huashan subconsciously. The most crucial point is that she has a delicate mind. She had carefully observed before and had noticed that Era and intentionally or unintentionally avoided Yu Buqiuan she was unaware that even if Lao Yu was truly a righteous gentleman, Ji Yuanha would not expect to come up with any exorcism sword technique from him. Who wants to cut pine cones? So, since Epoch and actively showing goodwill, Zhou Jirua decided to sell Epoch in a favor, and by the way, win over one or two. On the side, Yu Buqiuan was intelligent and could understand Zhou Jirua's thoughts at a glance. However, after thinking about it, he realized that the MA sect did not have any coveted martial arts skills, so he smiled faintly and took a few steps away. In fact, after Zhou Jirua and Yu Buqiuan developed, they were both a bit erratic and conceited. After practicing the demon repeating sword, the legal person felt a bit dizzy. Old Yu thought to himself, can the martial arts of the MA sect still be compared to the demon repeating sword spectrum? And the so dot called selling a child to a father's field doesn't hurt. Even the morally corrupt Song Qingxu, Zhou Jirua was willing to pass on the merit to anger Zhang Wuji, indicating that Zhou Jirua had no concerns about passing on the merit to outsiders. If Zhou Jirua were to pass on the MA Nine Yang Gong and Drifting Snow and Piercing Cloud Palm of the MA sect, she might think more about it. But Zhou Jirua doesn't think it's a big deal to give others the most valuable the Nine Yin Manual at the moment. If all three of them were not in the same dynasty, why did Zhou Jirua worry about the Qin dynasty? Therefore, Zhou Jirua immediately whispered the pithy formula on the general outline of the, the Nine Yin Manual and the chapter of Yijin forging bones to Ji Yuanha one by one. This doesn't mean that if Zhou Ji doesn't want to teach Ji Yuan have the quick practice of nine yin white bone claw, it's really too late. No matter how quickly one can master martial arts, it is impossible to master them overnight. It takes a month or even a hundred days. And she didn't really give age and martial arts for his good, she just wanted to temporarily bind age and martial arts to avoid being targeted by Yu Buqiuan. That's all. At this time, it was passed on to Ji Yuan and the precious and profound the Nine Yin Manual, whose profound and profound mysteries were more able to win each other's favor. And if she can comprehend a bit of mystery and increase her combat power when facing the battlefield, it is not related to Zhou Jiruo. Besides, can we remember both eras and memories? As for the issue of memory, the Nine Yin Manual. General Internal Skill Heart Code and Muscle Changing and Bone Forging Chapter. Lower level 3, the brain repeated the content of the Venine manual over and over again, and the era and the heart silently read. The next three grades. The Venine manual's martial arts itself is of the eighth grade, 
and the chapter of easy muscle forging and general principles can be understood to the seventh grade. The lack of corresponding martial arts collocation is temporarily determined to be of the ninth to the eighth grade, so it is the next third grade. Oh. The spirit mirror without a moment is now considered a dead object, capable of mechanically giving an error and a response. But between these few words, one or two key concepts can also be inferred based on the era. Such as the master figure who was trained into the The Nine In Manual in the Legend of Heroes in Carving Shooting. Because of the lack of physical training, he is probably an expert who does not have the physique of eight level martial arts, but has eight level combat power in the Tai world of Yuching. Only Wang Chongyang, who has the deepest skills, has a more solid foundation. However, Huang Shang, the creator of the The Nine In Manual, has a good theoretical insight into the The Nine In Manual, regardless of the actual combat. Therefore, Yu Bu Chuan, who practiced the evil dispelling sword technique of the incomplete Sunflower Classic, and Zhou Jirua, who quickly completed the The Nine In Manual, should be regarded as incomplete nine level martial artists in the Taiyi world of Yuching. The era and mind are spinning rapidly, feeling that they are inseparable from each other. The ninth grade is the beginning of a martial artist's practice of qi. It can transform the elemental energy obtained from external and internal practice into internal qi power. Compared to those who rely on internal power and rely on gold-based martial artists, it also has a strong physical advantage. From this point of view, Yu Buchuan and Zhou Jirua, who have not yet reached their peak, are both severely lame and have a serious deviation from the standard of the Yuching Taiyi realm. The big difference is precisely this positioning. Of course, Heishin Mian certainly didn't show great kindness for no reason, but she managed to win over Jiu and He and ultimately put in the cost. Take a look at the consciousness of working people. They still have to pay attention to the era and working. After the external training is over, it is the internal training. Thanks to her giving him the Eugene Forging Bone chapter, there were once again signs of breakthroughs in the cultivation of the era and the internal cultivation of organs, blood and marrow, only one step short of blood and marrow. Regardless of Zhou Jirua's intentions, Ji Yuan and this moment sincerely thank her. In Jin Yang's worldview, according to his guess, the role of the The Nine In Manual for him at present is probably second only to the Jin Shu Shaolin's Shi Sui Jing. You should know that the lack of internal power during the training stage of the Yuching Taiyi realm martial artists does not mean that their vitality has not grown, but rather that they have spent more time growing together with their physique. As for the era and the present moment, before practicing qi, besides the last level of blood marrow in the organs, there is often a saying that blood is like mercury slurry. In the Yuan Ha sect, the breathing method of Jin Yu Yi is constantly from the inside out, stimulating the power of dietary supplements to nourish the bones, muscles, and fascia, achieving the goal of golden skin and jade bones. It is an ironclad fact that practitioners of physical martial arts have no way to release their internal energy and external energy. However, at this time, there was the Eugene Forging Bone chapter, which states that people only know that sitting and contemplating are the achievements of advancing virtue, but little do they know that those who reach the highest level are well-dot-rounded and wise, practicing both physical and practical skills, that is, moving yet still, and although they speak, they are peaceful. Era and is like a reservoir that has been accumulated for a long time, slowly lifting the floodgates and allowing the vigorous vitality to surge out at any time. Chapter 6 Black-Hearted Maggots You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Undoubtedly, Zhou Jirua's unintentional act of inserting willows has brought a lot of empathy to the era and society. Although he still cannot release his internal energy in external energy, he has an instinctive ability to gather his own vitality in one place, increasing his fist and foot power. Compared to relying on the Divine Wanderers to fight guerrilla warfare just now, it is already a bit stronger and cannot be compared in the same way. In fact, in addition to carrying a flint hair gun to press down on the bottom of the box, during the training period, Yuan Hazong also had a dinghy armor-breaking fist, which could be used for a while. However, the
the boxing techniques used during the physical training stage are only temporarily used, and the quality can be seen from the name. Besides, neither Zhou Zhirua nor Yubuchuan can see the changes in the era. In this way, although Zhou Zhirua felt a bit regretful, Yubuchuan felt quite at ease. Yubuchuan originally did not think that the era and the ability to make great progress in martial arts could be achieved in an instant. After practicing exorcism swordsmanship, his mentality became floating, and at this moment, he couldn't help but have some thoughts that the dynamic and static achievements of the MA sect were not superior. At this moment, Ji Yuanha took a deep breath and calmly expressed his gratitude, I have remembered it. Thank you very much, Miss Zhou. It's okay. We're on the same boat now, and we don't want to be at the forefront of internal conflicts. Zhou Zhirua's eyes flickered and he said, it's impossible to have only four people here. If we don't see them return for a long time, it will raise doubts. This matter is not difficult. Simply put, this mission is to complete all the guys who have taken over the ruins, simple and straightforward. My gaze swept around and I was certain that this place was far away from the streets and towns, and the people guarding this site were unlikely to have any other assistance. Era he calculated and walked in front of Zhou Jirua, blocking Yubuchuan and heading towards the direction where there were architectural relics. He looked around for a moment and said, from the number of footprints and torches, as well as the rare ruts on the ground, there are few supplies being transported. The smoke here is not heavy, and there are at most about ten people inside. Four of us died, and the remaining people, except for the leader, should not be many. Young Xia Wei has a sharp mind. Yu Buchuan gave a thumbs up and extended his hand to invite him, saying, if you have an idea, it's okay to say it. Era he said, let's disguise ourselves as two, support two, seriously injured, fainting guys, panic and flee over. Then attack them off guard and take advantage of their mental turmoil to take down as many as possible. Zhou Jirua suggested, I have a poison called Ten Fragrance Soft Muscle Powder, which is colorless and tasteless. It should be helpful. Ten Fragrance Soft Muscle Powder. Isn't this poison used up by Zhou Jirua after he tricked Zhang Wuji's cousin Inli? How could there be more? Ten Fragrance Soft Muscle Powder is a strange poison that has no color or fragrance. When the medicinal effect is triggered, the whole body becomes sore and weak. Even if you wake up afterwards, you won't be able to exert any of your internal strength. Yubuchuan couldn't help but face difficulties when he heard these methods, as if he had some disdain for them. If Zhou Jirua didn't think it was strange, he calmly replied, Master you, swords and knives have no eyes. If these people resist too much, they may accidentally harm more lives and not be beautiful. Miss Zhou's words make sense. The biggest flaw of Lao Yu is that he thinks he's acting very well, and no one can doubt him. But in the eyes of a true old fox or someone who knows the root and bottom, ambition pants are almost transparent. For example, Ren Wishing hardly treats him as a person, let alone Fang Zheng in Chong Su. Unfortunately, Zhou Jirua is the kind of style that looks like a small white flower but actually has a black cotton heart. Unless someone expresses goodwill in advance, just talking nonsense is meaningless, and no one wants to please Zhou Zhiruo. Knowing that Yubuchuan was a bitch and wanted to set up a memorial archway, Ji Yuanha simply took the initiative to agree with Zhou Zhiruo, and said with strict righteousness. Leader Yu is highly respected. Just now you have been bothered to make the first move. This time, I and Leader Zhou should make a little contribution to each other, and should bear any blame on Wei Xiaobao. Wei Xiaobao is already dead, just take the blame. Alas, Yu is not a stubborn person, how can he be self-centered? Yu Buchuan had already been moved and decided not to pretend anymore. The three of them were indeed moving very quickly. And at this moment, the lights are dark and dark. If you don't approach with a torch, you won't be able to see each other's faces clearly. Wearing similar clothes, even if it may raise suspicion, you have to approach closer. Smelling the fragrance of orchids at the tip of his nose, Ji Yuan and Zhou Jirua pretended to be injured as he fell and fell. 
Yubuchuan simply buried his head and carried a corpse silently forward. In this way, Zhou Jirua and Yubuchuan will at least not actively expose themselves and minimize the risk to a few people. However, for a while, the three of them had already reached halfway up the mountain, where the ruins of the broken stone ruins were visible to the naked eye. Several bonfires were lit, illuminating the cobblestone square scattered with rubble. Epic deliberately raised and sharpened the tone, as if frightened and deformed, making it difficult to hear the voice line. Someone, someone rushed into the mountain and killed a brother. What? The six people at the campfire belong to both sides, with a clear distinction. It seems that although they are guarding here together, the relationship between these two teams is not really one heart. Epic and they didn't have much time to speculate, so they had to put ducks on the shelves. Upon hearing about the era and the few people seeking help, although somewhat angry and surprised, they quickly rushed over and, without considering their identities, hurriedly approached to inquire. However, although the era and plan are good, they are ultimately not as experienced as Yubuchuan. After just having a fight with the four minions, Yubuchuan knew that his advantage lies in his deep internal strength, and he may be more or less cautious, so it is not advisable to put people inside to see the real and the virtual. So, without waiting for Zhou Jirua to poison an attack, Yubuchuan buried his head and whispered, Master Zhou, there are only six people. Let's take two first. If the enemy is not prepared, use a long whip to pave the way. Well, good. These people are strong in their physical strength and agility, not in their internal strength, and they have to fight at a different distance. Following the era of harmony, Zhou Jirua suddenly understood Yubuchuan's plan. His rapidly developed nine yin internal power was immediately infused onto the silver whip, and the whip flew out with a swoop. The main hit 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 a person with one hand, causing them to crash and fly back on the spot. Then, the nine yin divine claw slammed fiercely into his heart, shattering his internal organs. Yubuchuan was even more ruthless, thinking to himself that no one in this place knew the difference between the Huashan Sword Sect and the Qi Sect. With just one move, he was the Sword Sect's ultimate skill, the deadly chain three immortal swords. One move, three moves in a chain, leaving no room for moves. Yubuchuan's first move was a direct attack but failed, and he took advantage of the situation and slashed horizontally on his waist. Paired with Yubuchuan's profound internal strength, he unexpectedly peeled off the upper body of the person in front of him, causing blood to slide off his sword and spill all over the ground. And his face was covered in purple clouds, clearly showing that he had already used his true skills. Before he could use his old moves, he would reverse the last move and stab back, suddenly injuring another person. The rabbit rose and fell, taking the lead in killing two people. The unexpected plan has been effective, and the number of people on the opposite side is smaller than expected, leaving only four people. At this point, Yubuchuan couldn't help but think that he had already gained the upper hand by searching for the Shuyuan website www.chaoshuyuan.com. However, two companions died consecutively. The remaining four people were not of the same level. When Ji Yuanhe caught one of them, he suddenly felt the opponent's strength was strong, and he was practicing bone, flesh, and fascia outside the body. He immediately knew that he had encountered a skilled internal trainer. Are you the little leader of these people? Hmm the person who killed me at Feying Castle dares to disguise himself. You're tired of living. The top four and bottom six add up to ten. The punches were exchanged with a bang, and this person had a flying eagle pattern tattooed on their chest, indicating that they were the captain of a team of five. The other five are second forces, and there should also be a leader. However, it doesn't matter if you can't win this person in the first place. Ji Yuanhe is trying to test his vitality. Stimulated by the internal mental skills of the the nine yin manual, he can improve his physique. Era and not afraid of being noticed by Yubuchuan that his cultivation has made progress, after all, these six-person teams have not practiced qi. If you don't really get started, you can't tell the difference between internal and external training just by looking at it. 
In an instant, Epic and his footwork were constantly changing. With a punch in his breath, he was about to compete with the leader of the Flying Eagle team to make another powerful move. Bang! In the same internal training stage of physical training, Epic and only one step away from completing the Essence Breakthrough Entry, and then using the exquisite, divine journey of changes, body method to maneuver, and then heavily smashing it with a huge force, making this little leader look at stars. First punch, forehanded fist back hand over. This person suddenly felt a surge of chi and blood, as if being poured back from his fist by an airflow, causing him to feel very tired and numb for a moment. He just couldn't figure it out for a long time. Although Ji Yuan and Ming Ming were not top dot notch experts, they were generally the same level of internal training as him. How could the limb joints give people a feeling of oscillating blood vessels with internal qi and martial arts impact? Chapter 7 Eating a Pancake and Talking Again You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Answering questions from opponents, Epic and I will not bother to answer them. And his light body speed combined with agile steps, he is faster and more agile than his opponents, and his agility is unpredictable. In short, the little leader across from him couldn't keep up with the dynamic vision and was suddenly a bit exhausted. In The Deer and the Cauldron, Wei Xiaobao's martial arts skills are mediocre, and he can rely on his divine actions to save his life. This is the right moment. The next second, era he was spinning and moving around, causing his target to become dizzy and disoriented. He grabbed a pine cone needle from the tree and used it as a hidden weapon to scatter it at close range. The person instinctively protected their eyes and closed their eyes, then leaned back like an inverted bow, avoiding the throwing, hidden weapon, and quickly retreated with a kick. However, the era and the fleeting figure were determined in an instant, catching up with the advantage of a faster attack, without hesitation taking advantage of the opportunity, lifting a foot and kicking the enemy in the crotch. This guy was originally leaning backwards, suddenly wanting to cover his crotch in pain, and couldn't help but sway his mind, unable to react or make a decision for a moment. But in a flash, Ji Yuanha used the Chen Mad Dog play he had seen in his previous life. When his opponent was in pain and unstable, he almost crouched to the side to become a shrimp ball's ball. At the moment, two peaks pierced the ears, slammed on the enemy's temple, immediately making his opponent lose combat effectiveness completely. Unrestricted fighting, give it a try and die, I won't deceive you. After all, he used to be a modern person. For the first time since crossing time, he had the pleasure of killing a small leader who was practicing internally. It was much more comfortable than before, when he and Yubuchuan were deceiving each other and conspiring against an external training subordinate. Aaron almost couldn't help but stretch lazily, but in the end, they restrained their desire to express their passion. At the same time, one of the remaining two external training minions has also been solved by Zhou Jirua once again. Only the little leader who was practicing inside was left behind. He ate Yubuchuan's purple cloud palm power raw, but did not fall to the ground as expected, which was somewhat surprising. A novice expert. No, there's no such weak novice expert. The person with a tongue leaf tattooed on his chest and red lips and teeth looked up and let out a long scream, cursing, you have offended both Feiying Castle and Tonggong Martial Alliance. You can't leave this place today. Feiying Fort and Tonggong Woman. Epic and took a deep breath thinking of the clues suggested by the Wuju spirit mirror. His mind was filled with thoughts. Who is the connection between the death of the old man and it? Entering the product. What's the solution? On the other hand, Yubuchuan couldn't help but feel confused and was waiting to quietly observe the changes. However, Zhou Jirua had no intention of keeping his hand. When he saw the era and dealt with the last external training minion, a long whip spiraled into a circle, expanding and contracting, locking the throat of the little leader who had already been seriously injured by Yubuchuan. With a forceful strike, it seemed that he was no longer alive. People who dare to harm me. With a long, urgent and angry voice, the night sky of Langjin Mountain plunged down like an eagle and falcon, 
with its wings outstretched and grabbing Zhou Zhiruo. However, Zhou Zhiruo had even seen the white eyebrow Eagle King Eagle Tianjin before. At this moment, although he was not in a state of panic, the white python whip technique was agile and eerie, sinister and cunning, like a long snake spitting out messages, touching people's waist. But everyone was in mid-air, yet they grabbed the whip tightly with both hands and refused to let go. At the first moment, Zhou Zhiruo was unable to move. If it weren't for the inverted thorns and scales on the whip's body, the internal power would stimulate the inverted thorns, causing them to suddenly prick their hands and make them stand still. Looking at the appearance of the young man, it was not surprising. His hands had tight skin, and his muscles, bones, and blood vessels were clearly visible. It was Wang Hun, the thirteen leaders at the end of Fei Ying Castle. He has a hooked nose and a mean face. He doesn't care much about his younger brother's death, but it's a loss of face. If any secrets of this place are leaked, it's important. In the northern part of the Yuching Tai realm, except for the Tonggong woman with Hengwu City as its core. Between the central Chongxian Palace and Beidi, it is a transportation artery controlled by Feiying Fort, connecting the two regions in the north of the central area. And due to the support of experts from the core center of the Taiyi realm, even the Tonggong Martial League has to give Feiying Castle some thin noodles. It seems that the presence of people from Feiying Fort and Tonggong Woman at this site is likely due to the discovery of cave murals on both sides, forcing them to share their treasures. I just don't know which family is in the Tonggong Martial League. After Wang Heng spoke, he saw a man dressed in a bright red robe with a straight face behind him. He slid from the cave behind the campfire and heard the sound, saying eerily, Leader Wang, no one can leave here today except for the dead. Need you to talk nonsense, Zhang Songyin. Looking at the dead corpses on the ground, Wang Heng felt a bit angry and frustrated. This Daomai relic has existed for countless years. If it weren't for the coincidence that the protective formation had been broken before Ye came here. Wang Heng and Zhang Songyin did not have the opportunity to follow the old man, find this place left by their ancestors, and gain a lot from the cave. However, before, I was engrossed in studying and forgetting myself, unaware of external movements. Now that so many young brothers have died, it's somewhat embarrassing for both of them. And after having a fight with Zhou Jirua, Wang Heng had already found that this beautiful woman's body was relatively loose, obviously not having completed her physical training. She also had a decent ninth grade internal qi cultivation, which was completely different from the martial arts of the Yuching Taiyi realm Wang Heng's gaze flickered and he pondered, Brother Zhang, there is a considerable secret in these people. If you can't practice your body at home, but you have the ability to practice qi. Not bad, then it's up to you and me to get rich. The two of them exchanged a glance, their stomachs churning with bad water. Wang Heng and Zhang Songyin traced the severely injured Iye and found the remains of this Taoist sect. For the past month, I have been secretly practicing my miraculous skills on the mural without telling outsiders, and I have been immersed in it. Greed is clearly not willing to share it with more people. Even the brothers and old men in Feiying Castle, who were in front of Wang Heng, couldn't do it, otherwise this place would have been exposed long ago. If we could learn some secret knowledge from Zhou Jirua and Yu Buqiuan, it might become a reason for their disappearance for a month. It would be a perfect opportunity for them to sacrifice their treasures and make contributions to deceive the upper echelons, using this place as their private residence. Moreover, Zhou Jirua, this beautiful and fairy-like woman, has a very good appearance. Upon realizing this, Wang Heng killed Zhou Jirua without hesitation. At the same time, Zhang Songyin went straight to Yu Buqiuan. Not because he didn't want to kill Ji Yuanha first, but because according to observation, Ji Yuanha's divine actions are constantly changing and not suitable for being targeted. In Wang Heng's view, these three people have killed ten skilled practitioners, and their internal strength will inevitably be consumed. They are unwilling to give Zhou Jirua and Yu Buqiuan time to recover. Sour scholar, little beauty, you two can't blame anyone for bringing them to your door. Humph. 
Seeing Yubuchuan fail to kill a small leader with just one palm, Zhou Jirua certainly wouldn't underestimate Wang Heng's ability as a so-called top-notch expert. Especially the incredible strength of the warriors here, Zhou Jirua immediately displayed his exquisite body techniques to fight against the enemy. However, in just a moment of confrontation, Zhou Jirua suddenly woke up to see Wang Heng's rapid body movements, with a rapid rise and fall that was just a few feet away from his illness, clearly understanding the art of likeness. If she had not mastered the the nine in manual's excellent likeness skill of moving in the sky and spiraling nine shadows, she might easily have been overtaken by her opponent. This kind of body method. Wang Heng did not expect that Zhou Jirua's exquisite body movements were far beyond his expectations, and at this moment, he could not capture Zhou Jirua's true nine illusions. As the thirteenth leader of Flying Eagle Castle, although he is a ninth-level expert, his body method is far inferior to the martial arts recorded in the The Nine In Manual. Just combining with his agile physique, even if it's just going straight, Wang Heng is like a phantom, which appears particularly tricky in Zhou Jirua's eyes. At the same time, Zhou Jirua did not feel that she could take advantage of it, and immediately felt a heavy heart. A woman's natural physical strength and speed were not enough to be caught up with, and Wang Heng turned the tables on her. She and Yu Buchuan put in the most effort before, and had to rely on internal strength to solve the enemy. Fighting a prolonged battle would inevitably result in losses. In desperation, Zhou Jirua tried to calm himself with a complicated mind. He had to show his superior skills in the the nine in manual, and his body seemed to be flying catkins. On the other hand, epoch and a brief loneliness, but they picked up a cake in their mouth and chewed it, causing a feeling of fullness to surge. The exhaustion and loss of vitality from previous busy work have shown an immediate recovery. Ha! Huh. Eating pancakes and fruits can even restore health, but Xuan Yang didn't deceive anyone. Not only that, but Yuan he also adjusted the flint gun and secretly grasped it for a rainy day, then turned his gaze to Yubuchuan and secretly calculated, Zhou Jirua can dazzle his opponent with his the nine in manual skills. Besides the fact that Lao Yu's purple cloud divine skill is truly lacking, what is his skill in warding off evil swordsmanship? Chapter 8 Cut Off Rice You are listening at NovelFull.audio Just as Ji Yuan and Guess are the same, without the help of the The Nine In Manual, the top secret collection of the gold system, Yu Buchuan would like to rely solely on the purple mist skill to compete with Zhang Songyan, Wang Heng's ally, for internal power, which is a little shameful. At this moment, their internal strength is between the two. However, Zhang Songyan himself had a perfect physical training, and at this moment he was like a great master of the Golden Series who had a permanent effect on the tenth level of the Dragon Elephant Prajnaparamita technique. He had a force of over a thousand pounds in every move and move, and also had the ability to stack and kill internal chi skills. The Purple Cloud Divine skill can offset Zhang Songyan's advantage of being physically strong, which is already considered a highly regarded internal skill of Lao Yu. However, Zhang Songyan's evergreen pine and cypress strength is full of resilience, fearless of the dense and boundless purple cloud divine skill invading the body, just like the green pine biting in the stone root, fearless of the sword wind cutting face. The profound and long-lasting internal strength advantage of Zixia divine skill has been offset. If it weren't for Yubuchuan's own higher skill and longer support than Zhou Jirua, he might have already fallen into defeat. The weakness of purple cloud divine skill is also strange, it is persistent. The internal strength is thick and thick, and it consumes a lot when triggered. However, with his goal in sight, Yubuchuan now knew that if he didn't give it his all, he would be joking with his own life. Just as the two of them pushed each other flat with one hand two Zhang apart and slapped each other, Yubuchuan suddenly ignited his thoughts and retreated. In the moment, Several embroidery needles had already been caught in his fingers, and he had already burst out like embroidery. Zhang Songyan was caught off guard. Unexpectedly, Yu Buchuan, who was known for his profound internal strength, suddenly became more sinister and cunning. 
Without noticing, he was hit by a needle and lost one eye on the spot, spraying blood with a scream. Following closely behind, Yubuchuan used the 70.2 Evil Warding Sword technique, which was no longer the lightness of the Huashan Sword. It quickly changed and became extremely mysterious. A gust of Yin wind blew in a moment, and when he turned around, he quickly tore off a piece of Zhang Songyin's robe. However, Yubuchuan is not Asia the Invincible, and his anti-evil sword technique is not even in the Sunflower Classic. Yubuchuan's martial arts have not yet reached the pinnacle. At the same time, although the evil warding sword technique focuses on fast attack, it can be dazzling at first. After using the 70.2 roots, as long as the enemy can hold on, they will eventually begin to repeat and gradually lose their unexpected effects. However, Zhang Songyin's martial arts practice is different from that of Jin-style martial arts, and his physique is not comparable to that of the original work Laughing Proud Jianghu, where he was unlucky enough to be defeated by the reclusive Yubuchuan, Zhuo Lengshan. Even if he was blind in one eye, Zhang Songyin held his true breath and did not let out any blood. His muscles and blood vessels contracted, and he quickly stopped the bleeding in his left eye. After practicing external exercises, the control over the body is greatly enhanced, making it less likely to damage internal organs. Moreover, this person also has internal power to protect themselves. Lao Yu just killed the leader of the internal exercises, but Zixia Divine's skill didn't kill him with just one palm. Besides, this person is still a top-notch expert. Regardless of whether Yubuchuan can win or not, the preparation for firing a cold shot from behind is already in place between Era and Silence. As for personally competing with the incoming experts, Jiyuan and currently have no plans. After all, Yubuchuan is not a good bird, so it's better to compete with sandpipers and clams to reap the benefits. As expected, Zhang Songyin was burning with anger after suffering from the pain, and his clothes and robes suddenly swelled up. This is not only due to the extreme stimulation of internal qi, but also because one's muscles and muscles are condensed together, suddenly increasing one's ability to resist attacks. In order to achieve a quick and decisive battle, Yubuchuan thought to himself that he had won the battle. As he approached the moment with his sword, he relied on his Yin Evil Warding Sword technique to launch a series of quick and cunning attacks, infused with the powerful internal power of Zixia Gong, which was supposed to penetrate Zhang Songyin's heart. Unexpectedly, the sword slid upwards along this person's muscle, penetrating Zhang Songyin's shoulder blade without accurately penetrating the enemy's vital parts. Originally, Zhang Songyin injured one eye and knew that the intense pain during the war would inevitably affect his performance. He would rather suffer some muscle and bone injuries than take down Yubuchuan. Yubuchuan felt the opponent's intention, so he had to withdraw his sword and start attacking again. Unexpectedly, Zhang Songyin's mind was ruthless, and his single hand was already a resilient and unstoppable force, launching with great force, even before Yubuchuan. One of them hastily turned his sword into a palm, and with a loud collision, Yubuchuan's throat suddenly became sweet, as if he had been hit by a high-dot-speed carriage. He was seriously injured on the spot and flew out, standing unsteadily and falling into dust. On the other hand, Zhang Songyin still had Yubuchuan's sword on his shoulder, but at this moment he was in a victorious posture, only taking three steps back. Even if you have excellent swordsmanship, what can you do to me? Ha! <laughs> Bang! Where did the firearm come from? In fact, it doesn't matter whether fire or firearms are used. The era and the timing and location of firing a cold gun are truly deadly. The light of Mars flashed by, and Zhang Songyin's wild laughter came to an abrupt end. He was then shot in the back by Ji Yuan and burst into a poignant blood flower. Upon seeing the situation, Lao Yu's spirit was uplifted and he knew that the opportunity was not to be missed. He immediately lifted himself up with one hand and turned back in the air to seize the excellent opportunity. He restrained his internal injuries and pain, then turned around and jumped with a fast sword to kill him, about to hit Zhang Songyin's throat. Between life and death, Zhang Songyin, who had capsized in the sewer, 
was filled with regret. Knowing that he had no more chance, a sudden thought came to his mind. Even if he died, he would let this person see what he had gained through deep cultivation in the cave this month. In an instant, Yubuchuan's sword hit the enemy's throat, but a hint of deadly fear brought by a rosy and stylish aura was reflected in his eyes. It turned out that when Zhang Songyan capsized his ship, he took out the experience he had gained from cave murals in the past month, and put on a desperate fight with Yubuchuan, setting himself on fire. It's not that era he refused to lend a helping hand, but that Wang Heng saw era he carrying a firearm and immediately rushed over like an eagle. Although Wang Heng couldn't take down Zhou Jirua for a while, it was not difficult for him to react to the time difference in the training stage of the body. He grabbed the barrel of the musket and suddenly exerted force, almost crushing and transforming it. Although the Sui Hair Spear can seriously injure ninth grade experts, the beginner's reaction speed is astonishing, and the material and strength of this gun itself are not as hard as modern times. If the gun is broken, it will be broken. In an instant, Era and released their guns, made judgments and quickly displayed their versatile abilities, quickly distancing themselves from Wang Heng. Zhou Jirua's white python and silver whip immediately encircled Wang Heng's movement range, denying him the opportunity to pursue Ji Yuanha. The key point was that Yu Buqiuan's sword pierced through Zhang Songyan's throat, and he didn't want Zhang Songyan's dying counterattack to be so decisive. He couldn't escape the red sword rainbow that came towards him. The gentleman's sword, no matter how cunning and cunning it is, is of no use until it is suppressed by a strange move. Feng Shui takes turns. The evil warding sword technique is both evil and fast, but the enemy's retaliation is magnificent and boundless. Before his death, Zhang Songyan's flesh and bones suddenly shrank, and his body was withered by two points. He pointed out his entire body, practicing qi and breathing internally. In an instant, he shot out a solid red sword-like glow, quickly taking away Yu Buqiuan's head, piercing through several large trees behind him, leaving only a headless corpse. Blast your brain. In a blink of an eye, it turned out to be a one-for-one one tragic ending. Miss Zhou, take a break first. Hmm. Invisible internal power can harm people from a distance of several Zhang, which is not the same as the tangible Zhang Su sword light startled by the red sword aura, Ji Yuanha had to give Zhou Jirua a hand first. Although though the Nine In Manual is not vulgar, Zhou Jirua's cultivation is still shallow. The problem of not enduring war is more obvious than Yu Buqiuan's. If he really wanted to fight to the end, Zhou Jirua secretly thought to himself that the only way to defeat Wang Heng was through military action. However, disregarding the fact that Yu Buqiuan was killed by the Red Sword Aura, Ji Yuan and Yen watched as Zhou Jirua gradually lost his strength and his whip technique was no longer as fierce as before. They immediately threw the other spring fruit left for him by Yi Yuxuan before leaving to Zhou Jirua. Wang Heng was puzzled and couldn't help but sneer, I don't want to be a starving ghost. I'm dying until I'm close, and I'm still eating a decapitated meal. Era and Patience asked, Do you look very happy when your companion dies? He he, companion. Sharing cave art with Zhang Songyan is just a temporary solution. Wang Heng looked at Ji Yuanha, who was just an internal martial artist. After losing his flint gun, he was not afraid. Zhou Jirua is also a young lady who cannot hold on to the long battle, and the ultimate winner must belong to Wang Heng. After the death of Zhang Songyan, his panic dissipated in a moment, and Wang Hengel held on to the victory and said, What does the death of the people in the Tonggong Martial League have to do with my Flying Eagle Castle? Which one? Chapter 9 Capitalists Cry You are listening at NovelFull.audio What am I talking to a dying person like you about? Wang Heng sneered in agreement, without giving an error or an answer. But era he never forgot that the reason why Wuju's spirit mirror sent him here was because there was a clue to the cause of the death of old master Ye. Having confirmed the identities of Zhang Songyan and Wang Heng for the second time, Ji Yuanha took a deep breath and was about to speak. Unexpectedly, a mirror light flashed in his mind, 
and a mnemonic suddenly came to mind. Zixia Divine Skill, 9th Grade Uh, Lao Yu, you died so well Although Zixia Divine Skill is the first of the nine skills of Huashan Mountain, it is not as secure as the Nine E Manual. Originally, the power was quite good, but the cultivation time of Purple Cloud Divine Skill was too long, and it consumed a lot of internal energy to activate. There are only nine grades in terms of grade, which is within the era and expectations. And the Wuju Spirit Mirror transmitted the complete mnemonic of Zixia Divine Skill to his brain, and Ji Yuanha couldn't help but recall the experience of the previous harvest of Xinxing Baibian. Not bad, the flint gun came from touching corpses. But, the hundred changes of the divine journey, is not a secret collection from Wei Xiaobao, but written by Wu Ju Lingjing Mo for Ji Yuanha. Wu Ju, will they still give me a reward when they die? Recruiters must compensate if they have not assisted the master in achieving the goal. The Wuju Spirit Mirror will recruit them and consume a considerable amount of Spirit Mirror energy. This is clearly for me to be a bodyguard, and if I can't do it, I'll have to pay. There's a spot for you on the street lamp. Do you still have a penalty for breach of contract? But, baby is beneficial to oneself, what else do you need a bicycle for? Since it is harmless to the era and itself, there is nothing worth thinking about. Era and shaking their heads, without further questioning these. However, the general principles of the the Nine Manual and the chapter of Ejin Forging Bones cannot be converted into instant combat power for a while. Purple Cloud Divine Skill is a technique that actively stimulates internal energy, which happens to meet the needs of the era and the current stage. Of course, era he has already made a decision, so he will focus on practicing speed for the turtle. He will not be able to practice Purple Cloud in the future, so using some tricks when facing the battle is enough. After reciting it silently, suddenly a wicked wind struck his face. Ji Yuan and he saw that Wang Heng had shown no mercy and clearly intended to kill himself first before dealing with Zhou Jiruo. After all, even if Wang Heng didn't know the meaning of Zhou Jiruo's eating cakes, he wouldn't let the two of them rest. In an instant, Epic and immediately used his body to train and perfect his physique, coupled with the strange and mysterious body techniques of Divine Journey of Changes to deal with enemies, which was even faster than just now. Perhaps due to the era and current needs, it is to buy a moment of recovery time for Zhou Jiruo. Since Wang Heng wants to kill him first, era he is also happy to sacrifice his life to accompany him, just waste time with him for the time being. Epic and made up his mind to immediately slip away when he saw the situation was not right, but at this moment he remained calm and said, what is Feying Castle doing here? You guys don't even know where this is. The two claws turned into a measuring hand, sweeping three Zhang horizontally but not hitting the real person, only smoothly cutting off the era and the stone tablet behind it, Wang Heng felt that the era was like a loach, and upon hearing this, he was even more incredulous. You don't know where this is, so you dare to take action against us. No wonder you dare to offend both Feiying Castle and Tonggong Wumeng at the same time. Who knows which corner of the road is a fool? A few minions said before, what kind of old man Iye do you have to do with you? Anyway, there is no evidence to prove it. In order to gather clues about the cause of Iye's death, Juwan always revolves around Wang Heng, giving him some opportunities from time to time in order to attract Wang Heng's attention. Wang Heng couldn't hold on to anyone and couldn't help but be impatient. He decided to say something to distract Era and deliberately attract their attention, saying, Humph, the place left by the predecessors of the Daoist sect is not something you can know about. That old man Iye found this relic of the Daoist sect and intended to invite his friends to explore treasures together. As a result, he was betrayed and seriously injured by his friends, and fled to this place for nothing. Kid, those who understand the situation should quickly get out, otherwise, when I use the Red Rainbow Sword technique, it will be your death. Red Rainbow Friends. Regardless of whether what Wang Heng said was true or false, the era and brain quickly rotated and soon set their sights on several good friends of Iya. Thinking of Yu Buqiu and being finally killed by Zhang Songnian, 
Ji Yuan, and his heart skipped a beat, as if he had been intimidated by the red rainbow sword technique. Wang Heng immediately saw the opportunity and lifted his arms high, chopping them down like a guillotine. Although knowing that the opponent's strength was not insignificant, Ji Yuan and Nian Xuan decided to take a gamble and, following the luck method of purple cloud divine skill, gathered their internal energy on their two forearms, and boldly shook them. Tear and Pull There are differences in skill levels, which can be seen immediately. The clothes and silk rustled, and the fabric of the era and two arms suddenly cracked, revealing two sturdy forearms. And while he retreated and became discouraged, he did not feel that Wang Heng's strength was unbearable. Juwan relied on his exuberance to urge him with the internal qi that had not yet been achieved. He felt his heart was empty. Tut, this Zixia skill consumes a lot of internal power, so it's no wonder that it's not as good as the, the Nine Yin Manual. And in order to trick Wang Hengdua into saying a few words, Ji Yuanhe kept stomping on several deep footprints under his feet, biting his tongue and spitting out a mouthful of blood, as if even his forearm was swollen with deep red, pretending to be difficult to maintain in the divine journey of changes, and stumbling a few steps to stand still. With just your shallow experience, how dare you learn to use Klitsch A.S.? Are you distracted in battle and don't think you're dying fast enough? Looking at the era and the appearance of powerlessness, Wang Heng thought to himself that he had the chance to win. He cursed and quickly chased after him again, with even more sarcastic words in his mouth. He continued to confuse the enemy's mind and said, Thirteenth Lord, I haven't even put in any effort yet, so you can't hold on and are about to fall. Era and bitter smile twice said, Your Excellency, I must be able to defeat you. I just don't know. If you and Zhang Songyin can use that so dot called Red Rainbow Sword technique, why don't you use it all at once? With Zhang Su's Red Rainbow Sword light, both Miss Sho and I will have to drink our grudges on the spot. Zhang Su. He he. The saying that there is an era is not hypocritical. Zhou Jirua's whip technique, although able to expand the combat range to 7 or 8 Zhang or even 10 Zhang, mainly relied on the extension of the length of the whip itself. In addition to the divine ability of flicking fingers and throwing stones, it can also throw a hundred steps, but its power is greatly reduced. The aerial palm power of the Jin-style martial arts cannot reach far, and the invisible palm power of the three elders of Xiaoyao has to be the top of the top five or six Zhang, and it decays significantly with distance. If encountering Zhang Songyin's sharp and sharp red rainbow sword Qi, which was as long as Zhang Songyin before, even top experts like the Five Wonders Hong Qigong would be very dangerous. Wang Heng sneered at the words and said, looking foolish, I'm not afraid to tell you either. That kind of sword like ninth grade warrior has no practical value when used. But as long as you die, I won't hesitate to try it on the little beauty. So the consumption is so high that even you dare not gamble on it. No wonder Zhang Songyin has such a deadly skill, giving you Buchuan the opportunity to counterattack. However, in this way, Ji Yuanhe was somewhat grateful for the preparations he had discussed with Zhou Jirua before going up the mountain. Otherwise, Wang Heng would jump over the wall in a hurry, and it's impossible for him to take another one away. As soon as he thought about this, Ji Yuanhe observed the bloodstains of the trauma on Wang Heng's body scraped by the white python whip. He then exchanged a glance with Zhou Jirua and exhaled, saying, How is Miss Zhou? After chewing a piece of cake in small bites, Zhou Jirua's internal strength had already recovered to seven or eight times, and he had gained more trust in Ji Yuan He. It's almost time. Time. Wang Heng was first shocked then smiled maliciously and said, Why, little beauty, are you still trying to regain some strength? Go to Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com and fight against me for hundreds of rounds. Humph. Wang Heng obviously hasn't watched the scenes of Shaw Brothers movies and TVB TV dramas, where martial arts masters fight and fly like lime. The forearm is exposed, with a hint of vermilion palace sand visible. Zhou Jirua was most disgusted by the first rate of debauchery. 
Upon hearing this, his face turned cold, and he remained calm and composed. He said calmly, the whip was coated with ten fragrances of soft muscle powder that I had crushed beforehand, and the dust it raised entered your wound, mouth, and nose. The effect was a bit slow. But you had been dealing with me for a long time, and you had put in a lot of effort to catch young Xia Wei. Your internal strength, qi, and blood were already stimulated to the extreme. Even if the effect was slow, the calculation time would be around. Poison. The ten fragrant soft muscle powder was colorless and tasteless, which made Wang Heng unaware of Zhou Jirua's poisoning for the first time. At this moment, Wang Heng hurriedly urged his internal qi to suppress it, but he didn't move. Instead, his movement accelerated the dissolution of the gradually effective ten fragrant soft muscle powder, causing his brain to feel dizzy and dizzy. Despite this, Wang Heng still grabbed the whip in time and let his hand be cut to the point of blood. But Zhou Jirua not only makes a good whip technique. Just as Wang Heng was using his moves, Zhou Jirua surprisingly held both hands. Suddenly, a silver flashing short sword appeared in his other hand, and with a click, he broke Wang Heng's palm at the wrist level. Once this medicine takes effect, even if you don't immediately faint, if you can't use it for a long time, your internal strength will be light, and the soreness in your muscles and bones will be even more leisurely. In the moment when Wang Heng's hand was severed due to dizziness and brain swelling, the whip shadow reappeared, and the cold light of his white bone claws flickered. Zhou Jirua swung his whip to seize the lead and confirmed that Wang Heng's internal energy had dissipated. Even though Wang Heng struggled to support himself with his strong physique, Ji Yuanha and Zhou Jirua each took a crucial position on either side of the road, instantly locking Wang Heng's head on both sides. The white bone claw pierced the hole, and the back of the fist was heavily shot down, causing the watermelon to crack instantly. Chapter 10 Spoilers You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Looking at Wang Heng's body on the ground, Ji Yuan and sincerely thanked Yu Buchuan for replacing Zhang Songyan, otherwise that red rainbow sword light would be unbearable for anyone present. Anyway, both of them had a grudge against the old man Iya, and Juan finally avenged him with one arrow. But according to Wang Heng, Iyi escaped here with serious injuries and was only discovered by him and Zhang Songyan after tracking and picking up the leak. So, the one who seriously injured Iyi in advance. Probably had to start looking for him from his friends in the Tonggong Martial League. However, this is not the time to summarize the winning experience and reflect on oneself. Era he did not shy away from anything and carried the bodies of Yu Buchuan, Zhang Songyan, Wang Hain and others back on the ground. He pretended to cover them up with something as if collecting the bodies, and tearfully cleaned up the remains of several people. Unfortunately, only Zhang Songyan has a secret book called Evergreen Pine and Cypress Strength on him. Yu Buchuan surprisingly didn't even include Purple Cloud Divine Skill and Demon Repeating Sword Manual, let alone Wang Heng. The three of them, being leaders of the same faction, didn't have much silver on their bodies, which made Ji Yuanha very depressed. Lao Yu actually has a few silver bills. But in a different world, it's not as useful as Wei Ju Ye's Golden Leaf. This course Evergreen Pine and Cypress Strength should be appropriate for Miss Zhou, as if I were to repay your gift of internal skill and determination. After the absence of outsiders, the era and calmed down. If Zhou Ji wasn't a little white rabbit, era and Ning would have sold it well first. Anyway, everyone is about to break up, but there's no need to cause any unpleasantness. Besides, there is no record of the content in the Zhu Ling mirror. This technique has been fully included. Era and Ben don't have to worry, they will give Zhou Jirua a secret book for free. However, Zhou Jirua, who remained vigilant, actually did not have the era and so much thought. After all, a spring fruit helped her recover some of her internal strength, which shows that Wei Xiaobao is not a bad person. Even if Zhou Ji had a dark heart, there was no need to lay a black hand on those who met by chance. For a moment, the atmosphere eased. 
So, Zhou Jirua nodded and accepted evergreen pine and cypress strength, carefully read one or two, and did not mention the qi cultivation part for the time being. He found that this secret collection actually had the methods of external practice and internal practice for practicing physical fitness, which made him delighted. You should know that Zhou Jirua, in the world of relying on heaven, can also be considered a highly talented younger generation. It's just that though the 9e manual was not available for a long time, so I didn't have time to study hard. Now, with a dual approach, there may not be great achievements in the future. At this point, if Zhou Ji could make up for some of the shortcomings in another course called Evergreen Pine and Cypress Strength, it would be. I don't know if Zhang Wuji and Zhao Min will be unlucky. Master's cultivation has been improved, and in the future, you may contact former recruits to designate recruitment. Let's first negotiate the compensation specifically. Boss direct hiring. Era and thought together, Wu Ju's spirit mirror gave a response. This is quite good. Ji Yuan Ha nodded, not paying much attention to it, and continued to say to Zhou Jirua, the Taoist immortal land in the classics has always been said to cultivate physical fitness and build a foundation. It can strengthen our own vitality, and I think it can extend our lifespan for 10 or 20 years. A hundred years is not difficult. Besides Zhang Sanfeng and Zhang Zhenren, I have never seen such a divine skill that can strengthen one's vitality like this. Hee <laughs> hee, just cater to Miss Zhou's wishes. To be fair, Ji Yuan Ha felt that Zhou Jirua underestimated Lao Zhang a bit. Zhang Sanfeng, after all, is a top dot notch immortal figure in the Jin family. He can defeat Shaolin alone and cannot be compared to the top dot notch experts in the secular world. Even if Zhou Jirua obtains a physical training method from Evergreen Pine and Cypress Strength, and the ninth grade physical training and Qi training method reaches the top to strengthen the elemental Qi soul, it is still 80% impossible to surpass Zhang Sanfeng. Of course, there is no need to argue with Zhou Jirua at this moment. He pointed to the cave where Zhang Songyin and the others had just walked out and said, Miss Zhou, although there is no one here, it is difficult to guarantee that these people will have other reinforcements just now. Let's go in and take a look as soon as possible, and then leave. Mmm. The mission given by the Wuju Spirit Mirror to Zhou Jirua and Yu Buqiuan is more like a treasure hunt adventure, and one must never forget the importance of this trip. Zhou Jirua pondered for a moment and immediately agreed with Ji Yuan He's view, then walked into the cave with him. And Zhang Songyin and Wang Heng spent a month secretly cultivating here, with a lot of food, clothing, and supplies inside, making the cave as bright as day. Quickly, both of them discovered mural phrases carved on the cave at the same time. But before taking a closer look, Zhou Jirua saw no one around and inexplicably asked about her relationship with Zhang Wuji. Young Xia Wei, do you know who I am married to in the future? I heard it's the leader of a certain demon cult, but it's not very detailed anymore. Era and using his brain to continue making up the story. I only know that the leader of the demon cult has some involvement with Zhang Sanfeng, a real person, and a princess from the Yuan dynasty. There are a few books related to the Yuan and Ming dynasties. Oh, how's that princess doing? I'm not quite sure, but as for the demon sect, there must be beautiful women around the sect leader. It is said that besides her parents' early death, her peers, friends, and beauties are still alive, so she probably hasn't died. Some words cannot be said in too much detail, otherwise they may be too false. But even if the era and the point are reached, it is enough to touch Zhou Jirua's heart. Zhaozhuyuan.com No one died, doesn't it mean that Yinli and Zhao Min didn't die? So, isn't everything I do exposed? But in this situation, Brother Wuji is willing to forgive me. With a flash of lightning in her mind, Zhou Jirua remained calm and understood how to negotiate with Zhang Wuji after returning. So the two of them walked up to the mountain wall and began to read the carved images on the wall. Seven Rainbow Sword I vaguely remember that Zhang Songyin only used one move, Red Rainbow, and then chopped vegetables for Yu Buqiuan. 
Surprisingly, it was just a rainbow. Zhou Jirua was deeply shocked and still remembered to take a handkerchief from her outer garment. She then prepared to use her delicate internal strength to draw silk threads in every inch, hoping to transcribe and record the handwriting on the mural first. Zhou Jirua is not sure if the so dot called Seven Rainbow Sword can be chiseled down from the mountain wall and taken away by her. Therefore, if Zhou Zhi chooses to use her personal belongings, she should first record a written version before proceeding. As for some internal force lines on the mural, she could only do her best to jot them down roughly, probably not in time. Despite this, Zhou Jirua couldn't help but feel that the swordsmanship on the murals was far more divine than that of the Amei sect, clearly not belonging to the mortal realm. Zhou Jirua couldn't help but suspect that if Abyss Extinction had known this sword technique back then, she would have been able to wield the heavenly sword and kill everyone in all directions, right? Helplessly, just as Zhou Jirua wanted to write, her mind was a blur, unable to fall into reality. Also, if it's possible to take it away, those people didn't have to delay the rest of the month here before. Zhou Jirua sighed with regret, and upon hearing this, Ji Yuanha immediately pondered in his mind, reappearing the mirror of the unrestrained spirit mirror, fortunately, every stroke of text and every scene of portraits has been recorded in detail.